What up? This is P Diggy 22, and some of you guys have been asking to see some exotic shotgun gameplay, so I got a 3v3 salvage gameplay using primarily the exotic shotgun, the Invective. It's a pretty sweet shotgun. I still haven't fully maxed out. I do have the two abilities though, which are ammo regen and I forgot what the other one was, but. The one you really want is the ammo regen. It's not super fast at regening ammo. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute, and it'll give you a roughly seven bullets or so. Um, it doesn't print bullets indiv individually. It prints like a magazine at a time, so you have to wait for the whole magazine to be made before you get that ammo, instead of where it probably would have been better if they did one bullet at a time, so then you just keep having bullets on you instead of waiting a longer time, but whatever, it's still cool. Um, I like to let my ammo regen with it, and then I can switch to another um, secondary weapon, like a sniper, and then that will have ammo now as well. So it's really useful for that. So that comes in handy a lot in PvE. Um, this thing destroys uh, wizards, since uh, wizards have a fire shield, and this one has a fire, this uh, exotic shotgun, the infected, has a fire element to it. Um, it really kills all the, anything with a fire shield, it'll take it down one or two shots, so it's really good for that. Um, what you want to do is, like, you want to work on getting, you need primary weapons with elemental damage to beat the higher level strikes in this game. So if you have a chance to get those over armor, definitely choose the weapons over the armor. Because the armor, while it might let you take another hit or two from an enemy, you still it's gonna make it you're still gonna have trouble killing it since you don't have a primary weapon to take down, you know, the enemy shields in PvE. So this shotgun's really good. But uh it's better in PvP since it's such a short range. You can't really uh when you're playing high level strikes on like hard level 28 or 26, you can't really do much with the shotgun because you gotta get in too close and then you just die. Unless your armor is amazing on top of the shotgun. Or, or you could use the bubble with it. Using the bubble with this is pretty good if uh, you could trap the enemy inside your bubble and um, you know just pound away at them with the shotgun. So, uh, I got a few more exotic bounties I'm trying to finish up, um, I believe I'm getting, I think I'm getting another shotgun, I'm getting the Bad Juju, I believe, which is a uh, pulse rifle, and I'm getting the Thorn hand cannon. I need to beat the level 26 strike on the moon to get the hand cannon. That one's been pretty tough for us to beat. I got about halfway through to the boss, but, uh, we just didn't have the damage, uh, we didn't have the primary weapons to do the damage to the wizards to take down their shields at range. Because once a wizard gets on you, man, it's pretty much over at the higher levels. Um, anyways, uh, I got a few more videos coming out. Once uh, once Zer is back in the store, or back in the tower, I'll be able to get, um, I believe, my pulse rifle, or whatever rifle it is. Because um, I have to buy a black mainframe from Zer. That's why I would recommend buy all those frames, buy one of each frame from Zer when he's in this tower, because if you get an exotic bounty that needs the frame that Zer has, you have to wait like a whole week just to get rid of that bounty. So I would recommend you guys pick up one of each of his frames. Anyways, um, I'm about to post a video on how to farm strange coins, and check that out. Peace. There's a new relic. Go and get it. The probe is out. Keep them away. Guardian down.
Relic secure. New relic located. <laughs> Heavy ammo inbound. Heavy ammo available. Defend the probe, Guardian. Too scattered. No focus. Don't let up. Salvage completed. There's a new relic. Go and get it. Guardian down. Probe is out. Keep them away. Mow them down. Show no mercy. Guardian down. Guardian down. Relic secured. A single victory doesn't win a war, but it's a good start. Good work.